for an incredible performance. Well, you know why I'm here. <laughs> but I want to tell you that we're doing something just a little bit different tonight, and you are all part of uh, something kind of groundbreaking. We have always envisioned this idea of songs and stories from the crossroads. From the, for those of you who are from out of town, the crossroads is an actual landmark right here in Leesburg. And so the idea of inviting artists to not only perform for us, but to give us the chance to get to know them and the stories behind their music and their inspiration. And we are uh, premiering that model tonight, and we could not be more excited to be doing it with the one and only Howard Schultz. secrets about my life that you really, Amy's going to ask these really difficult questions and it's going to be amazing. So yeah, so I um, always think that like these are the hardest gigs to do, you know, when I've got the band on stage, I can sort of hit a few bum notes and, you know, sing some out of tune singing uh, and I can get away with it, but <laughs> it's like this, you can't get away with anything. So, uh, bear that in mind when you're listening. <laughs> so, um, I, was, I, was, I was doing a sound check earlier and Amy said, oh, you're not going to do Pearl in the Show? I'm like, okay, so I'm going to do it. To start with, to start with. <laughs>
to start um, with the idea of Crossroads, because we're here at Crossroads Music Festival and here at the Crossroads. Can you think of a time that you were at a Crossroads and how things changed from that moment? Oh, wow. Well, great, great. I mean, there's been many times. Um, uh, I think that the, 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 one, the, the big one early on in my uh, life was back in 1980, it would have been 1981 or 82. Yeah. And I was doing all kinds of jobs, you know, I was, um, I was working in a factory, I was cutting hardboard up in front of a picture frame, I was giving piano lessons, um, and I was running a fruit and veg around. It was like, like anything to like fund the music, you know, to keep everything going, pay the bills. And one night, my wife, uh, Jan, and I were out on a, uh, you know, doing our fruit and veg run, and we parked, serving a customer, and a very, very drunk driver hit the front and um, it rolled back. I was inside, you know, doing vegetables and stuff. And, and my wife was behind the van, and the van went over. She was pinned underneath the van. And uh, we both could have died that night. And I, I know it sounds weird, but that that event changed my life in a way because I, I thought to myself, we both could have been killed that night. There's no time to waste. You must do what you've got to do. You know, don't worry about what's going to happen. Like, you know, you're lucky to be still here. Um, so, like, get on with the music. Just do whatever it takes to get get going. And um, in about six months later, I think, although I'm terrible at timing, <laughs> my wife Jan always tells me I'm not very good at history. Um, but uh, it was either six months or a year I was I was signed to one of those. So, Reflecting from here back to that moment, has the career unfolded the way that you envisioned? Has it gone to plan? Well, you know, I mean, <laughs> it's gone to some sort of plan, but um, you never know what's going to happen. You know, the, it, the 80s was, was great for me. Um, in, in, in the sense that you know, I got signed and I, my music got released around the world, and I, I got a chance to uh, you know have an audience pretty much everywhere. I was played on the radio. It was all, all great. And then of course the 80s came to an end. <laughs> For some of us. <laughs> and, uh, and suddenly, you know, suddenly MTV didn't want to play your videos anymore, and um, you know, radio so keen on playing your new single and, and, and the 80s start, you know, got a bit of a bad rap for quite a while, maybe 10 or 15 years when it was looked down on as a kind of not great. So, you know, getting gigs was harder, it was, you know, it was like starting again in, in, in many ways. But that's one thing that I learned about all this and it doesn't just apply you know, to music, is you have to roll with it, you know, whatever situation presents itself to you, well, you know, use it to create something new, do different things. You know? and, um, that's, what I, that's what I did, yeah. Good advice for many situations, for sure, and we're glad you did too. Um, one more, and then maybe we can get you to play a few more. I'm, I'm just curious about, as things tend to come full circle, like the 80s do, yeah. uh, do you... Do you hear your influence in current artists? Do you hear yourself in the new music? Um, yeah, yeah I, I, I do actually. And, um, you know, people actually sometimes acknowledge the fact that they, you know, they came to one of my early gigs or they, you know, listened to my, my records. I was um, talking to Jeremy uh, yesterday and he was saying that John, John Mayer, who I'm a huge fan of, um, <laughs> You know, I, I love to work, and um, he's got his own show, isn't he, on, on, on Sirius, and he plays loads of my tracks, so I think I'll be there. And there's and one of his songs that uh, so says, actually says, I'd like to get to know you well. Uh, it actually says that, so, but, you know, I know it's a common phrase, but, you know, for me, I put two and two together and make a lot of well, we'd love to hear a few more for you, if you've okay. got a minute. Sure, great, okay. So, so, so this, is what, this is the format that's going to go. We, we, 
I'll do a couple of we do a bit of chat. Is that alright with you? Together we can wipe away the 
Tears to get away, just strip down the barriers and the war.